Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arbor Studios Comics, and this is my review show where I talk about the comics I've read and where you can get those comics. So I'm going to start off with a comic I got at my local comic shop, um, Gamers Asylum in Ogden, Utah. This is called White Ash Number One, and also White Ash Number Two. Sorry, I got White Ash One and Two here. And yeah, I got these at my local comic shop. I've also backed these on Kickstarter, and uh, so now this is the comic book version from uh, Scout Comics. This is this is the Scout Comics version. Uh, it is a little bit different. I'm pretty sure I got a different version at home or in my box here from uh, the Kickstarter version. And yeah, number two had uh, the main character holding a VHS tape on it. That was a really cool cover. And um, so yeah, White Ash 1 and 2 here. But you, c you can get them uh, through Scout Comics or uh, ask your comic shop to pick them up for you. So these are written by Charlie Stickney, art by Connor Hughes, letters by Connor Hughes, and colors by Finn, Cram and uh, I love the White Ash story so much. Um, it's it's drawn really well. Let me show you some pages here. It is the story of a kid who uh, who wants to leave his little town, White Ash, and he wants to um, go off to college or make something of himself. Just get out of the town, basically, and uh, it doesn't work out that way. Um, he as he's leaving, I. Uh, he didn't get his last paycheck from the rich guy in town and so he goes up to uh, the rich guy's place to get his last payment and the guy's like well, I didn't like the way you did the hedges and so he has to go and uh, finish do some more work before he can get the last check and then he leaves his daughter that you see there to uh, write the check for this kid and so uh, it's a pretty cool storyline um, I love the artwork yeah, uh, Connor Hughes, he does an amazing job on the artwork. Um, so in the first story, uh, there are vampires in this story, and there are uh, elves and dwarves, all sorts of fun stuff going on in these comics. So check them out if you're into uh, that sort of thing. It is really cool. It's kind of got a supernatural Smallville kind of vibe to it, and uh, it's very funny. A lot of funny stuff uh, where uh, the dad leaves him a will in testament on uh, on a VHS tape, and then halfway through it, Magnum PI is recorded over it. So you gotta love it. It's good stuff. Um, but yeah, these these are being done at uh, what at Scout Comics. Check Scout Comics out. Um, as you may know, um, I'm kind of turning into a Scout Comics junkie picking up a lot of stuff from Scout Comics. I've got the uh, I've got the Snow White Zombie Apocalypse from Scout Comics. Good stuff there. And I'm getting interested into um, it, eat what, it Eats What Feeds It and Canopus and there's a, there's a big long list of comics there. Uh, check those out. Um, so yeah, White Ash by Scout Comics. Really good stuff. Um, I've got the hardbacks from Kickstarters too. Good stuff. Uh, I I think I might be stopping my hold on these soon though because it kind of it seems a little redundant that I'm getting them in comic book or comic shop form when I already have them in uh, Kickstarter form. I don't know, but uh, I will keep buying the trades when they come out though because I, I like um, I'm kind of a completionist that way. I like to back it, but um, my preferred reading method is in the trades, so check out White Ash Comics. You will love them. All right, let's see. That one's that. Now one an another one I got from Kickstarter, and let's see what we got here. This one is called the Super Scouts. It's not by Scout Comics though, even though it has Scout in the name. So the Scoot Super Scouts here. Let's see here. This is issue one. It's got a cool wraparound cover. And uh, Super Scouts is basically... Well, let me start with the credits first. Whoops. Okay. 
So the Super Scouts is written by Ryan Little and it has art by Bruno Olivier wait Bruno Oliviera and lettered by Nikki Powers and it is edited by uh, Cody Colombe and it's got some cool art I like the style it is a, a sketchy looking ink style so here here's the rundown on what's going on in Scout uh, Super Scouts Super Scouts is kind of like uh, they were a TV show kind of a Power Rangers kind of thing going on and uh, they pretended to have power on in front of the cameras but uh, it turns out that the the leader the guy that created the team and the TV show actually did have powers and uh, and so he's testing these actors making them come to an island uh, and uh, he kinda he kinda passes away in a weird um, Kung Fu Panda way the way the turtle went up to the peach tree and just turned into uh, peach petals and peach blossoms and floated away well this guy he he brings them all to his uh, estate on a not, his own little island and uh, he decides he passes away and he turns into a goose and he just floats away boop so then they're left in the next issue they are left with uh, passing some tests on the island and it is very cool looking the way they do that a lot of different tests they end up fighting younger versions of themselves all that fun stuff and oh yeah and then uh, since I backed it on Kickstarter let's see right here bam that's my name Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics on the thank you page and so uh, next time I see Super Scouts hit the uh, Kickstarters, I'm going to be back in that one. I have a friend, uh, Brooke Adams, who uh, I'll have to lend these to him, let him read them. Uh, he'll probably be really interested in checking that out. So this is Scout Super Scouts 1 and 2 that I got from Kickstarter. Really good read, really awesome artwork, and uh, good stuff all around. Um, Yep, can't wait to check out what's going on there. Um, let me see, check my notes here. Yeah, that's all. That's all I got from the notes. Good, good. Okay, now we're off to uh, one that someone on uh, Twitter found me and said, hey, uh, let's see, uh, Greg Wright. Let me see if that, does that even clear up? Can you read it? Um, uh, Greg Wright found me and he says, if you'd like to review, uh, actually, I guess I found him. If you'd like to review Claim 1, please let me know, and I'll send you the PDF. Thanks, Gary. And uh, so I said, heck yeah, I would love to read it. Shoot me a PM. And uh, so this is the claim. It is about trolls and goblins and uh, doppelgangers, all sorts of fun stuff. There's the credits page. It is by Greg Wright. That is who, yeah, that's who uh, tweeted me. It's written by Greg White, created by uh, Scott Alms, and written by Greg White. Oh my gosh. Repeat? Sorry. It, is ha it has art by uh, Mihayo Dmitrievsky. Dmitrievsky? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sorry, I'm not very good at the pronunciations. It is lettered by Justin Birch, and it is edited by Christina Blanche. So check out, check out the clam, the claim, and uh, it is by Source Source Point Press. That is a pretty cool place to check out. Um, they do. I think that's where. Oh man, what did I? What have I backed that's from there? Um. The Salvagers, I think. Yeah, the Salvagers came from there. I've backed some other things. I know I... Oh, the Ogre. Yeah, the Ogre comes from there, too. So there's a couple things that I've read in my collection from so Source Point Press. And uh, not sure what they are right now, but I know I've backed... I have a... I've seen that star little arrow thing of uh, SP somewhere. So, so the claim 
This is what the artwork looks like. It's uh, basically there's this goblin and a doppelganger, and they are going on on a uh, quest. They're uh, mercenaries, and they're trying to find some people to kill for money. And well, that's my boy. So, and I uh, one thing I liked about it is uh, when they they go to a goblin camp and uh, they try to get recruited there. Things don't go right, and they end up uh, ruining the religion or cult of the goblins. And there's a lot of religious jokes in here. I don't know what religion the uh, writer or artists are, but there's there's some funny jokes about many of the different religions, even my own uh, religion in there. So it, I got a kick out of that. That was pretty cool. Whoops! I just dropped my ring. And uh, yeah, so that's the claim by Greg Wright, who contacted me on Twitter, and uh, art by Miha Yolo Demetrius, and Justin Birch, Christina Blanche, all sorts of uh, fun stuff went into this book. Check out the uh, claim if you can. I'm sure you can, since it's from Source Point Press, you can ask your comic shop to get it for you, or you can go to sourcepointpress.com and find it there. All right, so that leaves me with what's in my mailbox. Do, 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 do. Mailbox, mailbox. It's the mail. It comes once a day, and it's all sort of stuff done. Anyway, what have I got in the mailbox this week? I've got Lovecraft PI, two trades of it, two volumes. Um, and it came with uh, it came with a cool postcard that's gonna go on my wall here, and it came with two bookmarks. I'll probably put those on my wall too. And uh, so Lovecraft PI is about what if uh, what if H.P. Lovecraft was a private investigator instead of an author, and uh, all these things that he wrote about he actually had to chase down and solve and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I got these from. Uh, let's see, where did I get? I got these from Etsy. If you go search for Lovecraft PI on Etsy, you will find these. I ordered them from uh, David Kahn, who uh, is teamed up with Miskatonic High right now, and uh, he is doing a Miskatonic High meets Lovecraft PI issue one and two. Uh, one team is Miskatonic High is doing issue one, and then. Uh, the Lovecraft PI is going to do the issue too. So I've already backed it. You should check that out on Kickstarter while you can. And uh, But I didn't want to wait for the Kickstarter to get these two, so I went to uh, Etsy and found them there. I uh, bought them right from the creator. So you can go there, Etsy, right now and pick these up if you want. Or you can back the Kickstarter and get them through the Kickstarter in one big bundle. I'm sure that, that really helps them out, but... Uh, I couldn't wait, and he sent me a little note that says, Thank you for all the support. Because I guess he recognized my name from the Kickstarter. And so, yeah, that's cool stuff. I got these in the mail. They're going in the read pile soon. And now we're on to Kickstarters. Since I've already mentioned the Lovecraft PI uh, meets Miskatonic High, I will mention them again. Why not? Um, so... Miskatonic High meets Lovecraft PI crossover is on Kickstarter right now until November 5th. So you have you have some time to get on it, but don't don't wait too long. Um, Miskatonic High meets Lovecraft PI is perfect for the Halloween season. Um, uh, if you want, you can you can get all the catch-up issues. Uh, I recommend it because man, I love the Miskatonic High. Good stuff there. Uh, I've talked about them a lot here. I think uh, I just got issue 8 in the mail last week, so talked about it on the last week's episode. She is by Ryan K. Lindsay and Chris Panda is on Indiegogo right now. Uh, you could I've already backed it on Kickstarter, I've already read it and reviewed it about three or four episodes ago, um, but it is a good book. It's got a really cool looking cover that opens up and has awesome art in it. Uh, it's about an alien mercenary and she doesn't want people to know 
where her daughter is, so she destroys all evidence, all memories of it, even. And, um, yeah. So she is on Indiegogo right now. Back that, go get it, get you a copy of it. That's awesome stuff. Wild Cosmos 3 is on, uh, Kickstarter right now until October 16th. I didn't say a date on the she because I don't know how to, I don't know how to decipher Indiegogo's site very well, um, and all that. So, anyway, Wild Cosmos number three on Kickstarter right now. Uh, Wild Cosmos is basically an Indiana Jones Tomb Raider kind of character. She, uh, she looks for relics on other planets and she's just collecting money basically to do this. She doesn't care about if this stuff goes into a museum or not and all that fun all that fun stuff that comes along with Tomb Raider and uh, Indiana Jones but this stuff is happening in space and I've already read issue one. Issue two is actually in my read pile. I'll be reading that soon uh, but I backed issue three already because I loved issue one so much and uh, I'm sure I'm going to love issue two as soon as I read it but, uh, yeah, Wild Cosmos 3, maybe I'll bump that up right now and read that before October 16th. That way I have something to talk to you about bring it up again. The Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl is by Pat Shand and uh, Roberta Ingranata. It is on there till October 16th as well. Um, a long time ago I backed Destiny New York 1 and got Vamp... Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl a short and uh, I loved it so much and I kept asking him every time he did a Kickstarter he's like is there anything I could do that uh, offer in the next campaign that uh, you guys would be interested and I'm like ooh do a Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl uh, longer story version something and I guess enough people besides me has asked that same question over and over again or maybe just me every single Kickstarter of Destiny New York and uh, Prison Witch and Little Girls. So many things I've read from Pat Shand. Anyway, Vampire Emmy and the Garbage Girl is on Kickstarter right now till October 16th. I recommend getting that while you can. It's a good story. It's good artwork. It's about a vampire and a garbage girl who, that's exactly, she's not a girl made of garbage. She's the girl that rides on the back of the truck throwing the garbage cans into the back. All that kind of stuff, but she's got her own little paranormal thing going on too. But I'll let you read the story for that one. And what else is on here? Jason Brubaker's Phobos is on Indiegogo and Kickstarter. Um, I backed it on Indiegogo because it was on there a month before it was on Kickstarter, and so I'm just gonna keep my pledge that way. Um, and yeah, Phobos is one I've already read the. Uh, the pilot version of it in softback. It's really teeny tiny from Kablam. Um, I think I got that one from Patreon. So uh, now it's out on Kickstarter. It's coming out in the hardback. And I'm getting Phobos, the hardback version. And it's about a Frankenstein kind of monster. It's really cool artwork. You could watch his videos. Every one of his YouTube videos shows him, him drawing it. So uh, it's really cool artwork. And uh, I'm also getting Sithra 5. I've got all the four other four Sithras but over there on my shelf. But um, I haven't got the fifth one yet. So I threw that in there and on this Kickstarter, or on this Indiegogo campaign. And uh, so now I'm going to be getting Phobos and uh, Sithra 5 to read soon. So it's on Kickstarter till October 30th. So... Make sure you definitely get on that before you get your Halloween costumes and everything. All that fun stuff. Another one that's on Kickstarter right now is Tilt, number three, from Catalyst Comics. Aaron Dowling. Um, so, Tilt 1 and 2 are awesome comics. Uh, it's about a hero that's kind of gone nuts, but he's not bad, like crazy bad, but he's not really good at being a hero either. Um, so he's kind of he talks to the camera a little bit here and there. I think that's part of his crazy. Ooh, sorry, shaking the camera. Uh, I I don't know if he's actually crazy or whatever, but he does know the reader is there, and 
So yeah, Catalyst number three, or no, Tilt number three by Catalyst Comics is on Kickstarter right now till October 29th. So that's another one you need to get onto before you get your Halloween costumes. Um, I don't know if you guys are trick-or-treating where you're from, but yeah. Uh, Halloween's coming up. Who knows what's going on there. Um, yeah, Tilt number three is on Kickstarter right now. Check that one out. It's good stuff. Uh, I recommend that one. Chronicles of Horror by Sierra Nova Comics. It's a 16-page anthology, and it's coming. It's on Kickstarter until October 31st. Check that one out. Sierra Nova Comics is really awesome. I, I just sent them a whole bunch of my files of Peter Pan the Vampire 1, 2, and 3 so that they can put those on their sites. Um, as soon as it's on their site, I will let you guys know. You can read it for free on there. It's also free on IndiePlanet.com, but... The more places I can get uh, Peter Pan the Vampire, the better. So Sierra Nova is uh, awesome that way. Chronicle of Horror, check that one out on Kickstarter right now. It's on there till October 31st. Vatita Awakening by Marcel Dupree is on Indiegogo right now. I've backed that one. I don't know. It's an Indiegogo again, so I, I think it might still be running. Who knows? Indiegogo, I think even after it ends, you can still order it there, so... Check that one out, um, Indiegogo.com. Look up Vetita Awakening. Um, it is for adults only, though. Be warned, uh, there is some mature content in it. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a Demon Slayer kind of comic going on. Um, I've backed quite a bit of Marcel Dupree's uh, No Sleep Comics products before, so uh, he does Le Fay. And uh, what else have I backed? Uh, let's see, check my wall. Nothing's jumping out at me right now. But I know I've backed a couple of his things. Um, hmm, yeah. I think he had a hand in... Um, oh, what's the uh, Cupid one? Shoot, Love University. Yeah, I think he had a hand in that, but I'm not really sure now. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I did back a couple of his, but I haven't got them yet. Um, one's about a battle planet, and yeah, I don't know. They haven't got here in the mail yet, but as soon as I do, they get here, I'll read them. The other one that's, oh, The Oath is on Kickstarter till October 9th. Shoot, that doesn't help you out t very much because as I'm reading this, it is October 9th. But, I'm sorry buddy, uh, doodle... Doodlemander, kind of like a salamander, but he's a Doodlemander on uh, Instagram. No, not Instagram. Twitter. Because uh, I don't have an Instagram, I wouldn't know. Uh, Oath number two was on Kickstarter till October 9th. Sorry about that. I didn't have enough time to uh, make the episode and, um, before the week was over, and I just barely backed it this week. That's why it's the first time I'm mentioning it. But... I hope it goes well. Uh, I'll have to check right after making this video, see if it passed, and uh, if it did, then I'm getting the oath number two and one in the mail. If not, then I hope you try again, come up with a better plan or something to make it uh, fun and possible. After the gold rush ends on November 1st, it's another Kickstarter I just backed, and uh, it's one that I've seen come up a hundred times, the single issues. Now the trade. After the Gold Rush trade is out, and I love the trades, so I'm back in the trade. And I'm, I'm glad that it's coming out this way. It makes it easy for me to get it. So check out After the Gold Rush on Kickstarter before November 1st. So if you have a comic you would like me to read, or a Kickstarter you would like me to talk about, Shoot me a message on Facebook or Twitter. Shoot me an email at peterpanthevampire at yahoo.com. Whatever. If you want me to read something, send me your files, send me your Kickstarter, and I will talk about it on this part of the show right here. Um, so that's it for Kickstarters. So what else have I got going on? Um, shows that I've been watching are The Boys. I think the last episode is on right now. I probably won't watch it till tomorrow, so I've been trying to avoid spoilers on Twitter from the boys. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard because a lot of people are talking about it today. 
And uh, I just remembered Van Helsing is on there. It's about Vanessa Helsing, and uh, she is a vampire slayer who has blood that uh, turns vampires back into normal people. It's crazy stuff. It was good stuff. Um, it is from the creators of a show called Continuum, which only had four seasons, but it wrapped up so well, and it was such a good story about time travel. It was amazing. You should check out the Continuum if you get a chance. It's on uh, Netflix. And I'm watching Lucifer, but I've got to a black and white episode that's kind of boring me, so I might have to skip over that episode to power through it. I need to finish up uh, Supernatural. I only made it to season five on that one. And uh, podcasts, what I'm listening to right now, Talk Me Into contacted me and said, hey, um, check out my show. And so I checked them out. They got some good episodes, so I'm going to be wa listening to them a lot. I just listened to their uh, Weird Al episode last week. That was the first episode from them I heard. And I don't know why I keep doing that hand fart thing. i got to stop doing that. It's a habit. Um, they did mention that on that podcast, though. They were talking about Weird Al's um, hand fart and in his music and stuff. He has a... Well, he doesn't do it. He has a guy that does it. And so... All that fun stuff. Anyway, Talk Me Into It uh, is one I'm listening to now. Brand new show. Um, Your Creative Push is one I was listening to for a long time. And it's it actually just stopped making episodes. He's going to take a break. He might come back. Who knows? So... Uh, check out your creative push. It a is actually a very good motivator. He's going to keep the episodes up on uh, up on Stitcher and uh, iPod, iTunes. And so check those out. I better wrap this up because my boy wants to talk to me. So thank you for watching Red Narb Studios Comics. Share the video. Like it. Comment if you have anything to say about it. I will read it on this uh, on the next episode or whatever as soon as I find it. So thank you for watching. This is Renton Harp Studios. I'm Gary Brandner. I'm out.